The bodies of 46 dead migrants were discovered inside a tractor-trailer in San Antonio, Texas on Monday in one of the most deadly recent incidents of alleged human smuggling along the U.S.-Mexico border. A San Antonio Fire Department official said they found stacks of bodies and no signs of water in the truck, which was found next to railroad tracks in a remote area. Sixteen others, including four children found inside the trailer, have been taken to hospitals for heat stroke and exhaustion. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke, heat exhaustion, uh, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. Police Chief William McManus said this was the largest incident of its kind in the city and said three people were in custody following the incident. So the first call came in at about uh, 10 minutes to 6 this afternoon. Uh, fire, a, a worker uh, who is, works in one of the buildings up here behind me uh, heard a cry for help, came out to investigate, found a the trailer with the doors partially open, uh, opened them up to take a look and found a number of um, deceased individuals inside. So we have three people in custody. We don't know if they are absolutely connected to this or not. Um, this investigation has been turned over to HSI. It is now a federal investigation. So the plight of migrants seeking refuge is always a humanitarian crisis, but tonight we are dealing with a horrific human tragedy. So I would urge you all to think compassionately and pray for the deceased, the ailing, the families, and we hope that those responsible for Putting these people in such humane conditions are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. In July 2017, 10 migrants died after being transported in a tractor trailer that was discovered in a Walmart parking lot. The driver was sentenced the following year to life in prison for his role in the smuggling operation.